Not a sponsor. Okay, guys. Well, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're coming from the first part where we put the leather on this bench, um, welcome. This is the second part, and today we're going to set up a little place I can sit while I'm doing my reloading. So I got this uh, beauty at Walmart today, 25 bucks. I mean, I spent less than, I must have been 30 bucks, 35 bucks to get up and running right here. So today we're going to assemble this chair and uh, get it working pretty good there. So I brought my tools out, not that you can see them right now with this box, and we're just going to get right to it. So this is how the box looks when you first get it. Big jumbled mess, but it looks like we got a hardware kit. This is the top of the chair. This is the rolling feet portion. And then this is where my butt's going. Looks like we got a few other hardware pieces. The wheels. And just gel packets. I save those because occasionally I do some 3D printing and that's always good to have around. So now I guess we're gonna unbox a little bit of this or unwrap I should say and start assembling. Looks like some instructions just fell out. Don't need those. Probably gonna end up needing them later. Alex, what are you reading? A real man's manual. Oh, the instructions that you no, don't, we don't need? We don't need those. <laughs> I need those. And I guess they offer three interactive instructions, but definitely don't need those. Save the wheels for later. Now it's worth noting if you're looking for quality or something that's going to last you a while, this is not it. Made out of pleather. I had pleather chairs for a while and they always end up doing funky stuff like shedding or drying up and falling out. So just if you're looking for something high quality, this isn't the chair for you. But luckily I don't need high quality, I just need something to sit on. This is a nice metal piece, probably cast. This is plastic. And this is a mix of what would appear to be more pleather, a mesh insert right here, and just cheap metal frame that it's all combined onto.
And this is the hardware kit. So we'll cut that open. Remember guys, always have a sharp blade in your knife. It's a world of difference. Oh, looks like it comes with some Allen key screws or bolts, I should say. And this looks like the little piston that lets you go up or down. There you have it, all the parts kind of laid out right here, that's all it really comes with. So we're going to get started on uh, setting it up. I'm going to speed this part up, not to bore you or make you sit through an hour of assembling a chair. So here we go. So anyway guys, what we're going to do is, uh, they got a little ring and these just pressure fit right in, hopefully, with a little tender love and care, just like that, you got first one in. So there we go guys, this is kind of done. Rolls around now. So we're going to move on to the next stage, which I'm sure has something to do with this. There's the second stage. There's the third stage. Look at this, we're really rolling that. Okay, that's probably wrong. Step three, to turn this bad boy over and make sure that you line front up with the front of the pad. And then it's time for a few bolts. So what we're going to do, if we can see it just fine, is they got a few little holes here and we're just going to put a bolt in there and I'm going to start them just with my hand and I'll uh, equal it all out and tighten them down with the included Allen wrench. Okay, so that's done now and uh, it's nice and on there. So the next step is to attach this to that. So I'm going to turn this upside down. It's going to have four bolt holes that we're just going to have to send uh, these four bolts through.
Okay guys, so we're done with that. Seating area is all put together. So my next step, we we'll put this chrome plastic flimsy ring on top of this. I guess it won't go over like that, so I gotta put that. Just like that. And then our last step, you guessed it, we're just gonna Put the top onto the bottom. And there we have it. We got ourselves a little swivel chair, uh, no arms, so hopefully it won't get in the way when we're reloading. And uh, got a little piston here. Go up or we can go hopefully down with it. Yeah, need a little more weight than what I got on me right now. That right on the ground. Actually, in the all the way up position, I think is how I'm going to keep it. It's a little shorter than I thought it would be, but I think that will work out good for reloading because hopefully the press won't dig right into my crotch. So that should work out good. So that kind of uh, concludes this uh, video. And I forgot to say it in the last one, but if you want to stay up to date on this series, if reloading or do it yourself or any kind of projects like these or anything you're into, there's going to be a whole series uh, uploaded at different intervals as I get stuff in. So just make sure you subscribe or notify or whatever it is you do on YouTube. I don't know. So, and that will keep you up to date whenever I post another one, whenever I get to it. So. That about covers it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.